first graders, it's me, Miss Nodos. Today for reading, I wanted to talk about what the word title means. The title of each story is the name of the story, okay? So in this book right here, the title or the name of this story is the biggest words on this page. They're not always gonna be the biggest words, but most of the time they are, and you can see it. It will, it will stick out. So right here, the title of this story is called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. You may have heard of this one. It's one of my favorites. Um, in this story, can you find the title or the name of the story? That's right. I love my new toy. How about this one? Can you spot the title or the name of the story? Happy Dreamer. Here's our story. And on the bottom, it says words and pictures by Mo Williams. That means Mo Williams, this guy, he is the author and illustrator. He wrote the story and drew all the pictures in it. Every story has an author and illustrator. Sometimes they're two different people. Sometimes like Mo Williams, he does both, which is pretty amazing. All right. And here's the back of the book. It says, finally, a book you can say no to. Here's the pigeon. Now, Mo Williams wrote these words and he drew these pigeons. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, come on. All right, here's our story. And this is an honor here, a cow to cow honor. It's a really awesome book. Okay, there he is, the pigeon. He's dreaming of driving a bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I gotta leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. There he is, he's walking away. Cool, there's our pigeon. Ugh, I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? No, please. Oh, come on, I'll be careful. No. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Irv drives a bus almost every day. True story. Hmm. All right, so right here, Mel Williams didn't put any words here. We have to guess what, what's going on here. This little like scribble right here is meaning the pigeon is he feeling happy? Mm -mm. He's feeling frustrated or angry right now. So they just drew this kind of squiggle. That's what's going on in his mind. It's like, Ugh. Vroom, 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 vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No? You're still saying no? I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. Yeah, or your brother and sister if they're listening right now. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Oh no, this page. Let me drive the bus! Oh, he's so upset right now. Ah! Oh, and look again. Mo Williams didn't put any words here, so we got to think, what is that pigeon? How is he feeling? Not just with this big scribble tornado here. Also, look at his eyes. He's not so happy. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Oh, man. Hey, now I want you to think, what is that pigeon? Got a plan. What's his plan now? What's he going to ask for now? What's he thinking? What is this? Do you think maybe it's a fire truck or maybe just a regular truck? But he's got plans here. Let's see. Oh, just a regular truck in his dream bubble here. Now he doesn't want to drive the bus. He wants to drive this big, nice truck. 
Oh, there he is too. There he is. So, I love the pigeon books. And Mo Williams is one of my favorite authors. Because I love books that make me laugh. Not every book makes you laugh. Some makes you feel good. Some teach you a lesson. But this story today, I just wanted to make you laugh. Okay? On Thursday, I'm going to read a story that's going to make you feel good. And really understand the importance of being you. It's going to be called Perfectly Norman. Okay? Um, but thanks for listening. All right? And do keep doing a good job on your work today. Bye!